there are some unknown elements or hidden elements here that are requiring you to look at this situation in a different way. So while maybe this devil energy here, Virgo, may not have the same hold over you that it has once in the past, I still do feel like some of you are still connected to it. And actually, now that I really think about it and look at it, it could have everything to do with your family. What's up, Virgo? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up guys so welcome to your monthly reading for march of 2021 yeah please keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't also we could be talking to a cross watcher here please make sure to fit this into your life as it fits don't try to fit anything anywhere that it doesn't fit naturally and so because we could be talking to a cross watcher the roles could be reversed here yeah so just keep that in mind so um Welcome to March. I hope you guys are having a good year so far. We're we're reached. We've crossed the barrier of the third quarter. We were going to be entering into. Oh, I'm sorry, the first quarter. Gonna be entering the second quarter soon once we hit April. So, oh shit, that means taxes. Whoops. Let's not talk about that. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, for this month's reading, because in we are we do have uh, St. Patrick's Day this month. I have decided to get our oracle guidance this month from the Fairy Forest Oracle. So we're going to be closing out your reading with that. We're getting into the tarot here using the Mystical Manga Tarot. I love this deck. It's so beautiful. Um, so I am available for personal readings if you are interested in that. Just go ahead and email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader and you would like to get a little bit more in-depth information about what's going on on a daily basis, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon, patreon.com backslash divineconversations. That link can also be found in the description box below. Um, I offer daily readings there. We also do bi-weekly twin flame readings and also bi-weekly inner masculine, inner feminine readings where you can get a glimpse potentially as to what you can work on or what you need to be working on to help heal, integrate, and balance your inner masculine and inner feminine energies especially for those of us that resonate with the twin flame journey, because that's really all that it's about, right, guys? Okay, great. Um, I think that's it for announcements. Uh, let's get into your pre-shuffle here, Virgo. Um, I really like this energy for you. The first card that came out in your pre-shuffle is the King of Wands, and the very first thing I thought of was, like, how Stella got her groove back. So I feel like, Virgo, you're in a place right now where you're regaining your confidence, um, and, and this is the, and then after that, the next card that came out was the Eight of Pentacles. So the, the, the King of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles right now, Virgo, is feeling like you having the confidence to do the work that it is you need to do for yourself, by yourself, with yourself, or on yourself. And then following that Eight of Pentacles, the confirmation came through, the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is teamwork, yes, is building a foundation, yes, but it's also an element of self-mastery. And that's what I feel like is the strongest thing for you right now, especially since the last card that came out is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. To me, that's not a bad thing for you because it's really just confirming the energetic state that you're in that's allowing yourself to believe in yourself more and to do what it is that naturally is best for you naturally what naturally comes to you and that is directly because of the fact that you've stepped off the karmic hamster wheel in some way and you've put a past situation to rest at the bottom of the deck is the world followed by the ace of wands all right so you having the confidence right now to go after what it is you want to do what it is you want to do you and and i know for the longest time Virgo we have been talking about some really awful stuff for you and, and really closing out some really to toxic and bad and narcissistic cycles and dealing with um, toxic relationships, toxic environments, toxic family environments, toxic work environments. But I feel like you finally put that to rest, okay? You've put that to rest. Continuing at the bottom of the deck, you have now the Four of Swords and you've come into a state of you a stronger, more balanced, more grounded, more honest, more aware 
energy in terms of who you truly are, Virgo. And there is definitely a sense of self-confidence here that's helping to drive you forward right now, okay? Love that. All right, let's reset this here, Virgo, and um, give this five shuffles, and we will get into the rest of your spread for this month, yeah? One more, one more reset shuffle. And let's do the damn thing. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the energies, of the general energies for Virgo in terms of the month of March of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, five shuffles here. One. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. This is two. General messages here, please, Spirit. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March 2021. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All righty. Overall energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo. You better get that shit. So this is that. This is you recognizing your worth, standing up for yourself, you doing what you know is best for you, not letting anybody come into your life that isn't looking to have a balanced, harmonious, and reciprocal relationship with yourself. I feel like the biggest reason as to why you've entered into this King of Wands energy of feeling confident and ready to strive and move forward is because you've you really come to terms with or you really come to an, a strong understanding of what it is you are truly worth, what it is your true value is, and what it is you bring to the table. And not letting anybody take advantage of that any longer. Under the Queen of Pentacles is the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Ironically enough, though, underneath the Ten of Cups is the Devil. But then you also have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is you standing alone in terms of what it may, what it is you may have feared in the past and also in terms of what it is that you value now. I feel like whatever the toxic energies you've dealt with, whatever the, 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 the codependencies or the attachments or maybe even addictions that you've had, you learned from them, you've grown from them, and now you stand in a place where you are standing on your own. No longer in codependent energies, no longer looking for external validation, no longer for looking for looking for someone to come save you. I feel like you've really come to an energy of you've saved yourself. Okay. Now, maybe that's a hypothetical. Maybe for some of you, you're in the process of learning through the attachments here, through the toxicity here. Um, either you've come to this realization now or that's what you're working on, or at least that's what, what I heard is that's what you're heading towards in some cases, okay? There may be, for some of you, there may be some elements that you're still kind of attached to. But, um, but I don't think it's really all that bad. I just kind of get this feeling, Virgo, that some of you may still have some attachments that you're dealing with or having to work through or work with, but you kind of look at it as not as significant as it used to be or as it once was. You may still have some sort of attachments here, but you're still standing on your own. You can still think for yourself. You still have an opinion of your own, and that's really what you're working with, okay? All right. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, is the Ace of Cups, self love this is the thing this is what's helping you stand on your own this self-love this sense of self-love i feel like at this point virgo you've come to a place where your cup is overflowing 
okay? So you're able to look at whatever top... Mm. Okay, I guess you could call it somewhat toxic situations. I really don't want to call it that because it's really not that bad. Um, for some of you, if there are still some things that you are you find you have an attachment to, it's really not that bad. Um, it doesn't have the control over you that it once did. And that's because of this sense of self-love, unconditional love for self that you have overflowing. Ace of Cups is coupled with, oof, the Five of Swords. Not bad, though. I don't feel like this is bad, Virgo. I feel like this is you loving yourself in the face of some sort of destructive elements here. Now, maybe for some of you, if, it, if you are find yourself in a place where you are kind of struggling with this or you're still trying to learn this lesson, the message here is instead of fighting and fighting and, and trying to one up and trying to win and trying to get over at all win at all costs or anything like that, instead you need to turn around and work on filling your cup, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, is the Queen of Swords. There you go. Facts. Straight facts. No arguments. No, don't waste my time. This is just, and I feel like if you haven't gotten to this place yet, the Queen of Swords is the energy that's going to help you cut away this Five of Swords energy or really cut away altogether or even the effectiveness of this devil energy that you may find around you. Some of you are really are needing to just straight up Queen of Swords that shit and not even worry about it, not even focus on it, not allow yourself to get bogged down by or confused by the what ifs. It's straight facts here. The Queen of Swords is not about to waste time, okay? And I do feel like for some of you, you have adopted that energy into your life, which is allowing you to be in this Queen of Pentacles state. I love that the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords come out so often together. I also, uh, energetically, I see them as kind of like best friends um, because they represent very similar things. However, the Queen of Swords is way less compassionate. Like she has no time for emotion or anything like, anything like that. She's straight logic. The Queen of Pentacles has more of a compassionate energy but she is still a very much a no shit no she ain't she takes no shit okay so i do see them as very similar queen of swords is coupled with the two of pentacles whatever it is that you are setting the record straight on uh, drawing a line in the sand on creating boundaries around or whatever it is you need to do whatever it is in terms of which you need to do this, it all is in service of balance in your life. And this is physical balance, the mundane day-to-day -day balance. And it's interesting because I said the same thing to Taurus. Um, this is not about spiritual or energetic or maybe even emotional balance. This is just the straight facts in terms of what has priority here for you. Or what is it going, what, do you, what action do you need to take? What boundaries do you need to put in place? What stance do you need to adopt in order for your life to just be balanced on a mundane day-to-day -day, uh, level, okay? Your challenge here, Virgo, in the first half of your reading is the hanged man. So, okay, even though the, uh, the, po the energies were really positive in the beginning, I feel like there is a good amount of you that are still working on this. So that Wheel of Fortune in reverse for some of you might be a sense of difficulty in actively stay, take, uh, uh, stepping off the karmic hamster wheel. Because your challenge here right now, Virgo, is getting a, diff a change in perspective, understanding things from a different perspective that allows you to have greater control over your life is what I'm feeling. Okay, the Hanged Man is coupled with, ah, the High Priestess. There are some unknown elements or hidden elements here that are requiring you to look at this situation in a different way. So while maybe this devil energy here, Virgo, may not have the same hold over you that it has once in the past, I still do feel like some of you are still connected to it. And actually, now that I really think about it and look at it, it could have everything to do with your family, Ten of Cups, or a sense of community. And there's a higher awareness that you need to come into play here that I that I feel like there is a good amount of resistance that you're dealing with. Because often when it comes to the, the high priestess, 
um, in relation to those of us here that are physically incarnated in the third dimensional reality, which is very much uh, ruled by form and structure and facts and knowledge and um, and proof in some cases and like um, yeah logical stuff the high priestess is not logical the high priestess represents the uh, mystery and the 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 unknown elements of the universe and I feel specifically for those of you that are struggling with releasing some sort of I guess at this point we can call it a toxic attachment, okay? Um, there's a, there's a higher awareness, a higher wisdom that's trying to come in through for you here that ultimately is going to provide you with that sense of change in perspective or enlightenment so that you can, in fact, step off the karmic hamster wheel, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Virgo. You have the Knight of Wands. This is good. Uh, many of you may have recently come into a state of um, uh, awakening because I often see the Knight of Wands as like a light worker or someone that's been recently awakened. So some of you here could be in that recently awakened state and are still kind of tangoing with like previous toxic or codependent or uh, attachments or whatnot, whatever. And this could very well be in terms of family. I feel like, yes, some of you may have recently become very awakened and yet there are still elements of like your family life or people within your community circle that you're still kind of vibing with, but not really. I still, I feel, what I feel like here is you're still trying to vibe with them when you're of a higher perspective or a higher awareness at this point. And that could be where this devil energy is coming through for you, okay? Knight of Wands is coupled with, ah, death. So I feel like, I definitely feel like this is a message or a situation for someone that is recently awakened. What does that mean? It could mean all kinds of different things, but this is someone that recently has woken up to the nature of their reality. And because of you have this awareness now, now you have the ability to, 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 to try new things or put new things into practice or go for something in a different way. This is very much an energy of you awoken and you can't go back to sleep. And so some of you may be trying to avoid really moving forward with this sense of awakening because of the attachments you have. But again, this devil energy really doesn't feel like it as bad as it has been in the past. I feel like it doesn't have the same hold over you as it has or as it may have in the past. Which is a good thing. To me, that's kind of like a, a preliminary step towards really letting go and following through fully with this transformation that is represented by this awakening here, the Knight of Wands and death, okay? All right, Virgo, let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You have the Page of Swords. This is questioning. You know, you have you have a very similar energy as to, as Taurus does right now. So maybe you have Taurus in your chart or what, whatnot, whatever. But um, good Lord, that is a massive bite. Sorry. Uh, I feel like this is you questioning very much like Taurus. Well, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to let this go? Why do I have to go in this direction? Why can't I just hold on to these people or keep these people in or this circumstance or situationship in my circle? Like, why, 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 why? And when it came to, for Taurus, it was like, it was that energy of the kid in the back of the, in the back seat, like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And it, especially since in terms of this high priestess energy, I definitely, that, and this is in your challenge, right? With the, uh, the hanged man. I feel like this is you over questioning the universe here seeking too much information than is really necessary or too much definition, clarity, or proof even than is really necessary for you. Because ultimately, I mean, no matter how many ways you ask this question or how many different times you ask this question, it's not going to change the fact that this is a toxic attachment or this is something that you need to let go of, okay? Not going to change it. I mean, you could, you could ask this question until you're blue in the face and that's still not going to change the fact that something needs to be released. Uh, the Page of Swords is coupled with mm, the Ace of Wands, and yet you're still inspired to go in this in this new direction. 
Some of you may be really resisting this and really trying to get as much information or as much proof as possible, maybe even to appease some other people around you that are kind of like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Blah, blah. You don't need to justify anything, Virgo. I mean, okay, sure, maybe you need to find justification within yourself just to make sure that you're going in the right direction or if this feels, if this really does feel like the right direction to go in. Okay, but in terms of other people, you don't have to justify a damn thing. It's your life, Virgo. Do what the fuck you want with it. You know what I mean? Like, second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is symbolizing, again, family, uh, but especially a long-standing situation, but also a completion. Tens are completions also, and I often lately, a, a lot lately, actually, I've been seeing the Ten of Pentacles as a completion of a life lesson and being able to move on to the next. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so this definitely could be family or just a long-standing situation that you are feeling trapped in. Now, with that said, this Page of Swords, Ace of Wands energy could be really good for you, Virgo. Because instead of using this inquisitive nature of the Page of Swords to question what the High Priestess is trying to bring to you, instead, you could use that energy to question why you're still attached here or why you still feel so blocked or controlled or confined here. Because quite frankly, Virgo, anything that is holding you back right now, it's really all just in your mind. And you can cut yourself free anytime you want to, but you have to choose to do so. So what this Ten of Pentacles is kind of saying here for you right now, Virgo, is it feels like something is about to come to an end, and yet there's still some mental blockages, mental conformity, uh, uh, a mental prison of sorts that's keeping you from closing out this chapter. So I feel like this Page of Swords energy could be really good for you. I just feel like you're, you're directing it in the wrong places. Instead of questioning the high priestess here, who really does have your highest good in, in, in her mind's eye or in the focus, and also sees the situation from a much higher point of view than your ego may, instead of questioning the universe, instead question yourself, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Virgo, is the fool taking a leap of faith, moving in a new direction. Mm -hmm. But your inquisitive nature, your need to understand, your need for law, knowledge, your need for proof and for facts is standing in the way of that. The, the fool is coupled with, ah, the nine of wands. This to me is representing strong, strong resistance. I feel like, Virgo, you are needlessly fighting against this change in reality or what I actually just heard is change in perspective, the hanged man and the high priestess, which will lead you to a new level, taking a leap of faith, jumping into the next reality for yourself. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, is the, yikes, is the seven of pentacles. And this, I mean, like, not going to lie, Virgo, the universe is a coming for you a little bit with this one because the universe is kind of saying here, honey, y'all been doing this shit for the same, for five, I literally heard just five years, same thing over and over and over again. How Do you really think at this point it's going to change? So instead of requiring the situation to change, maybe you should work on changing within. Again, instead of questioning the universe or the high priestess so much it's time to question yourself why am i still involved with this why am i still letting this letting myself stay attached to this and, and i swear to you virgo at this point with the change in perspective that i feel you've already gained this devil energy is like minuscule is nothing now compared to what it used to be and yet you're still allowing yourself to to indulge in this. You're still giving up some of your power away to an individual or a circumstance that's really not serving you or is not reciprocal. 
or at least you're not getting the same things now that you were getting from it before. Why? Because you've grown up. Because you're standing on your own, Nine of Pentacles. Because you can, in fact, well, you could always, but you're in a place where now you really can, now you really can think for yourself. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, the Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Wands. Ooh, Virgo, stop doubting yourself. You're ready to move on from this. This Four of Wands is speaking to the, the, the creative, the spiritual, the inner stability to move away from this self-replicating cycle, we can call it. You're ready to move on from this. You have the foundation to move on from this, Virgo. All right? I like it. I'm not going to say this is a terrible energy for you. No, I, honestly, this devil really, what I just heard is minor inconveniences, which actually could be why you may be letting it slip. Eh, it's all right. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's really not. It, why even, why even leave yourself open for any type of bullshit like that? You know what I mean? You're good. You can move on from this. You don't have to let this stay attached to you. You don't have to let this feed off of you any longer. Let's get your closing oracle guidance. Five shuffles. One. Every time I do this, it blows the cards everywhere. <laughs> this is two. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. This is three. Closing Oracle Guidance of Free Spirit. This is four. And this is five. All right, Virgo. Closing message, please, for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. Dar she blows. Ooh, card number 35. The life bringer, establishment, growth, and fulfillment. Excellent. Okay. About you now, ideas and projects are gestating. Constellations of ideas are birthing. Your creativity is flowing from within, and ideas are developing in an easy, organic flow. For a time, you will be rich in health and love and in physical beauty. While there is much that is new about you, what has already been developed within your world can now be brought to greater fulfillment. So children may begin to mature and grow older, and your ambitions and your dreams may need support to move from their beginnings to become truly established and make their presence strong and unshakable. Your accomplishments will now be acknowledged, respected, uh, I'm sorry, respect will be given as it is overdue, and your contributions and your work will now receive the value and recognition they deserve. This could also mean you are able to ask for more money in exchange for your services and seek investment to develop your business. Your influence, power, and reputation are all growing in healthy, inspiring ways. You feel good in yourself. A loving relationship with your body now develops, and you accept and receive loving support from others. No more will you receive disrespect. Unkind words about yourself or your ventures will no longer be tolerated. You are growing in stature. Finally, the world sees you for who you are, a successful being who has followed their dreams. I mean shit, Virgo. You better get it, honey. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me or join us over on Patreon, again, all of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>